Hey guys, Ron from Utech GNA, and today we have the Ruger single six revolver, chambered in 22 caliber. Now you can also find this gun chambered in 22 magnum, which I have right here, or 17 HMR. Now, true to its name, it holds six shells, and Ruger also makes the single ten or the single nine, which are also true to their names. Now, we're not going to do a too extensive review on this gun. Uh, if you've seen one revolver, you've seen them all. But we're just going to tell you what we think about it and if you should buy it or not. Now, I've had two problems with this gun, and the first is that it jams, and it jams a lot. Uh, not quite a jam, maybe it's just the firing pin, doesn't activate the shell, but it's, that's a major problem. Another problem is the accuracy of this gun. If you're shooting a short range, uh, small objects, large objects, it, it's pretty dead on and it's pretty fun to shoot. However, if you're shooting something around 100 yards, it's pretty impossible to hit. You're about 50-50 on a 5 foot wide object, so that's a big problem with this gun. Now, like I said, I'm not going to explain too much about it. Not, not going to go into on its features, but I am going to tell you if you should buy it or not. Now, this gun goes on market for around 200 to 300, at least what I've seen. And in all honesty, I wouldn't pay more than 200 for it. It's a fun gun just to plink around with, just shoot, just shoot little targets, pop cans, anything you want. But besides that, there's not much use. I wouldn't carry it on me, and I wouldn't really trust it with my life. But if you can find it for under $200, uh, yeah, definitely. It's a good pickup. Just to have fun with. Now also, I wanted to do a quick demonstration on how to uh, change the chamber in this gun. Just a quick demonstration, people. Okay guys, like I said, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to change the chamber in this gun. Uh, just for those that don't know how. And what you're going to do is you're going to open this part right here. It's where you unload and load the gun. I'm not sure what the name of it is exactly, so I'm sorry for that. Then you're going to take it to half cock, and then you start your process. What you're going to do is you're going to pull this button right here, and which holds the pin in place, which holds the chamber in the gun. You're going to pull on the pin, which is like this one. This one's a little tough. I don't know if it's on all models or if it's just because this one has been shot so much. Then your cylinder or your chamber should come right out. Uh, and then when you're putting it back in, make sure the rigid side is facing the firing pin on the gun. Slides back in and you repeat your process. I'm going to close this up so it holds it secure while I'm doing it. Push the button back in and uh, just reinsert your pin. Now it might be a little tough, so you're going to like so, like that time it was. So then you're going to spin your uh, chamber around just a little bit in case it does get stuck. I'm going to take it off half dock. Now uh, that's for uh, changing the chamber on the gun. Quick tutorial on it. Uh, now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to load and unload this gun. Now, oh, grab my bullet. Good thing I got a backup. Now, on this gun, it's, uh, it's uh, spring ejected. So it's not like uh, other revolvers where you just whip out the cylinder and then you can dump the shells. So I just wanted to do a quick review on that, or tutorial on that. So I'm not going to load it in my house, of course, but I'm just going to show you. Um, you just put it in there, of course, like any other revolver, but you've got a spring ejector. And it just comes right out. It's pretty basic. Just wanted to show you. And then take off that cock. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay guys, to finish the video, I just wanted to give you a closer look at the gun. It's a small gun, so it's kind of hard to see from the way I have my camera set up. But I took it apart just to show you it. Uh, just show you a quick view of it. But, yeah. And also one problem I forgot to mention uh, while I was doing the video. Uh, my regular cylinder, it's... I, I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get it back in. Uh not into the chamber or not into the gun itself but all in with the pin and I'm not sure if that's just because it's uh, been shot so much or what but that's a problem too but yeah you fiddle with it a little bit and it gets in there so it's not major now in case you're wondering what kind of ammo we shot out of this just so you know that the accuracy wasn't just because of one type of ammo over here this isn't all the types of ammo I shot out of it of course I shot uh, Remington Thunderbolt so I got a lot, ton of it but uh, shot federals also. There's not federals in here right now, but as you see, it's empty. So, and uh, this may look like another Remington box, but it's an assortment of shells. It's got federals, uh, Remington, Winchester, and uh, in there. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same with all ammo types. 
I just wanted to clarify that. Yep, that's pretty much my video, guys. Uh, if you like this one, you want to see it shot, uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.